Hey traders, um, let's take a look at our bullish trend. It started about here. Uh, we are on day three of a bullish mindset. And we have cranked in a you know, negative 46% tension here. So we have a good deal of tension the market has to deal with. And to, to build up large levels of tension, you need a trend. To burn it off, you just need a knee jerk. So, uh, you know, just a gap down tomorrow, um, a few points could burn a lot of that off and allow the bulls to, to give it another try. Um, so that's what, I that's what I'm sort of expecting here um, that I'm looking for. Now, something I want to point out with the tension that I think is going to be important over the next couple of days. We have a, a move down. We have a move down. It pushed up, retest, uh, pushed up, retest, and this led to a three and a half day uh, bull. And we are on day three in this particular bull. So this has given us a lot of structure, and the way I look at structure is activity. So this tells me, hey, we're going to have a lot of good stuff. Expect prices, expect volatility, expect people participating. Um, that's what I'm looking to see over the next couple of days. Now, now uh, the focus that I have for tomorrow through the, through most of the day, I'm going to be monitoring. Um, because of this, you know, it's, we're not near zero. We got a nice far away from zero. I'm going to be watching uh, momentum. I'm going to be watching decay. And I'm going to be watching the cumulative new extremes. What I want to see is the market present some, some really great bearish ideas. And then I want to see bulls show up and buy it successfully. I might add uh, prices need to fall through. Uh, let me show you some of the price action I expect. Uh, you s expect that kind of thing. I expect that kind of thing. That kind of thing. That kind of thing. This, this is the kind of stuff I expect from bulls who are trend trading. Um, they come in with equity, they can bring prices up. Um, another feature of bulls uh, coming in as trend traders is you get new highs. So you want to continually see good chunks of new highs coming to the market, stocks moving up, things like that. So I'm going to be paying attention to this. I want to see these. Uh, now just to talk about the, you know, the, the other side would be if the bearish ideas show up. So we see something like this and there's our bearish idea right here. And the market ends up, you know, really paying out to this side, and uh, you know, maybe not letting those people out. If if the bearish idea was the right idea, uh, that will be the first, the first sign or indication or whatever um, of weakness to this bullish trend state. So you want to continue to monitor those bullish ideas. Uh, one really great way to determine if it's a bearish idea. Um, that I find really useful is to ask yourself if the market kind of makes you feel a little bearish. Uh, if it's moving down, you know, like look at this uh, this arc down right here. That you might say to yourself, "Man, that it's it's just going to keep going, isn't it?" You start to get this uh, bearish idea in your head. So you need to see the numbers, and then you kind of got to get that sense as a hopefully as an experienced trader. You, you know, I like to wait to to sort of say to myself, gosh, this feels like it's just never going to end. And that's the bearish idea for me. You know, it sort of couples together experience and numbers. Um, but we can point at the numbers when it comes to uh, these types of things. So that's where we're at. Those are the things I'm looking for. Um, I still expect bullishness unless tension can cross over zero. But I would like to see tension burn off tomorrow, especially now that we're up near negative 50% is very strong. So uh, I like that gap down. You know, it looks like we're, prices are moving down right now, but we still have a while. I like a gap down, a little bit of move, move down, and then the market push new highs is what I would prefer. Well, I hope this was helpful. As always, good luck trading.